Hello guys, and today I'm going to be making my long overdue review of the GAN356 Air UM, technically Max Park Signature Edition. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done this, so if it's not as high quality as usual, I mean, not that they're not that it's usually high quality, but like it's even worse than usual. And I'm sorry for that. Um, so, general info, the size is 56 millimeters, I believe, I mean, yeah, because 356, obviously, and comparing that to, like, 50 mil, 57 millimeter cube, you can tell there's a small difference, but it's not really that noticeable when solving. Anyways, 57 millimeters isn't really standard anymore. 56 is kind of the center now, so like, I'll compare it to itself. <laughs> Another jam cube. It's the exact same. And like, the colors. <laughs> I really like these colors. It's definitely better, I think, than the other GAN color scheme. White and yellow is pretty standard. Blue's pretty good. It's not too bright, not too dark. Red, I like how vibrant it is. Green, it's hard to describe. I guess I like the plain green. And um, this also vibrant orange is good. So I hope I'll get positive. And the price, that's it's pretty um pretty high price, like forty seven dollars and thirty seven cents for the normal version. And for the one that I have, the max price signature version it's forty six dollars thirty nine cents both for for the world records average and single okay so getting into the main part of the turning it's really fast but it's still controlled because of the magnets it feels really nice like because it's smooth Smooth, yet yeah. a bit of a click, clicky feeling, kind of, and also kind of buttery-ish. Also, lockups and catches are very minimal, and like pretty much never happen actually, especially lockups. You might get some small catches as does demonstrate it, but like really not much lock up. I did get one right there for like just because I'm turning really fast and I'm being carefree. Trying like careful ish, like in a solve, then it'll pretty much not happen. Yeah, next corner cutting is insane. I can't cut every angle, but it's still really nice corner cutting well over 45 degrees. And reverse cutting is just about uh, one QB. So, overall, this is a really nice cube. There are hardly any flaws. And like, if it weren't for how, for how amazing the feeling of the Volk M was, I would probably use this as my equal main. Cause like, this and the Volk M are pretty much perfect together. Both of them. They're both really good cubes. But I just like the Volk M better. Probably just for the feeling. But, sadly, the cube isn't without its flaws. It can corner twist, but that's very, very rare. And mostly during... At, mostly not in solves, just like when I'm doing algorithm carelessly, like... Especially with thumb algorithm, where like, I don't know how to call it, like, use your thumb for like, to really drag it, like... <laughs> That's a choppy algorithm, I guess. I guess I would call this a smooth algorithm for those kinds. 
that's the new york get rockets and even then usually it doesn't happen see i'm trying but i'm not getting a corner for this especially you definitely won't get it if it unless it's that algorithm is the only times i get corner twists and only a very few times ring solves so i'm not barely count i'm not even going to count that as a um factor in the rating because like a couple and thousands of solves isn't very much so anyways overall i really like this cube i give it 10 out of 10 if you'd like to buy it i'll leave it in the link in the description if you enjoyed this video be sure to click the like button and if you haven't already subscribe thanks for watching guys bye